Hey guys, what's up? It's Ben with Honda Rescue Garage. Back with a quick video doing a suspension comparison today. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show the differences in overall length between a bunch of different factory Honda struts. Uh, this is not going to give you an accurate measurement of how much lift they give you because this does not take into account spring rates. But it does give you the overall length differences and can kind of give you an idea of what will work for you and what doesn't work. So going right into this, we got the 88 to 91 Civic Wagon compared to the 9093 Integra front. They're both pretty much exactly the same, same height. Uh, spring rate might be a little bit different on the 9093 Integra. Um, not really sure about that yet. 96 to 2000 Civic front, you got an inch and a quarter of height difference right there. And I know for a fact these definitely lift uh, 88 to 91s by a little bit, uh, probably about an inch and a quarter. Um, 94 to 97 Accord front, you got inch and three quarter. And these are exactly the same as the Odyssey. So I put those both in there so you guys could see the Odyssey and the Accord are exactly the same. Um, but that gives you an inch, or inch and three quarters of overall height. But the lift on these is a lot more than that because the spring rate, again, is, is really high on these compared to a Civic. And of course, then we've got the 9701 CRV, which is the big daddy, the 2.5 inches overall height and then that high spring rate. So I think these give you more like five or six inches of lift overall. Uh, but we'll get into that in a later video. 88 91 Civic Wagon rears uh, compared to the 94 97 Integra rears are exactly the same. The struts obviously aren't the same and the springs aren't the same, but the overall height difference, there is none. It's exactly the same. Uh, 96 to 98 Civic, you're talking about a quarter of an inch. Uh, not much to be had there. And of course, these don't fit EF lower control arms because they're narrower. But you can grind them down to fit those, and that's not that big of a deal if you wanted to use those. 90 to 93 Integra rears, this is a surprise to me. I would have thought the 94 to 97 would have been higher, but you got an inch and a half difference in height using the 90 to 93 Integra rears. All right, so as most of you guys know, the CRV rear is the Mac Daddy, four inches of extra height. But the problem with these is that you have to have that eyelet rear lower control arm out of an 88 Civic or a Integra Type R, which are really hard to find. And if you want to buy them aftermarket, they're super expensive. So that leads me to this last gem that I found at the junkyard, the Legend Rear, which has the same four inches of height as the CRV, but has the standard type rear lower control arm mount. And this mount is actually the same width as the EK9698, or 96-2000 rather, which is smaller than the, um, the EF and EG, but you can grind the lower control arms down a little bit to make them fit this strut, and I think that would solve a lot of people's problems with running the, uh, the CRV rears. So I also brought along a couple of um, the factory lower control arms, and I bolted them together to show the difference in height when you flip them. Just flipping these lower control arms, you get an inch and three eighths of height right off the bat. So if you wanted to just do a couple inches of height, you could just flip those, you know, maybe do some spacers, or if you wanted to just, just do uh, 9093 Integra rears, you should be able to do most of that stuff without having to worry about alignment issues or axle issues or stuff like that. Obviously, the CRV or Legend is gonna take a lot more to get them to fit and not tear up bushings and stuff, but at least they'll work. You know what kind of height difference you got. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys decide what struts are going to work best for you for lifting your car. And uh, I have to give a big shout out to Beaver's Honda Salvage. They hooked me up with most of these struts so that I could make this video. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to their website in the description. They have all kinds of stuff like this. I mean, rows and rows of factory Honda parts. So if you guys decide you want to use you know, factory struts and you can't find them local, just give them a call or give them an email and they'll hook you up and get you what you need. So I appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Just flipping these lower control arms gives you that inch and three eighths inch, inches of just flap uh, strut length comparison and.
These are all from, god damn it, I did it again. Holy shit! <sighs> So anyways guys, I hope this helps you decide what you would as Anyway, I hope this does helps guys, I hope this helps you decide what what's going to work for you. Anyway guys, I hope this helps you guys decide what or in the spring rate might be a little bit higher. God damn it. <laughs> fucking annoying. So I'm going to leave a link to the God damn it, dude. Holy fucking shit.